Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program for fibonacci series now guys the fibonacci series is a series where the next term is the sum of the previous two terms so basically the first two terms of the fibonacci sequence are 0 followed by 1 so as you can see in this example over here the fibonacci series the first two terms are 0 and then 1 and then the next term it will be equal to 0 plus 1 that is the sum of the previous two terms after this the fourth term it is equal to previous two terms that is 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2 and then the next term that is 3 it is the sum of the previous two terms that is 2 and 1 and so on so whatever the next number is it will be equal to the sum of the previous two numbers 3 plus 2 is 5 and then 3 plus 5 is 8 and then 5 plus 8 is 13 and then we have 8 plus 13 as 21 so guys we are going to write a java program in order to find this fibonacci series so let us move to the eclipse id over here and first of all we are going to define the number of terms that we want in our fibonacci series so let's say n it is equal to 10 so we are going to find the first 10 numbers in the fibonacci series over here and then we also need some more terms over here that is the first number it is equal to 0 this we need to consider and the second number as well we are going to consider it as 1 so guys these are certain assumptions that we have to make that is the first number it will be 0 and second number it is equal to 1 now after this the third number we have to compute and the other numbers we have to compute using the content of the fibonacci series so guys over here we are going to simply have a for loop and then what we will do is int it is i it is going from 1 to i less than or equal to n because that is the amount of numbers that we want in our fibonacci series so i it goes from 1 to n and then we have i plus plus now guys over here we are using the for loop you can also use the while loop or you can also use the recursion as well while writing your java program so first of all what we will do is we will have the print statement over here and we will print this first number that is zero so i will just copy this and paste this over here and then after this in order to separate all the numbers inside this fibonacci series we are going to have comma followed by space so that we can read them properly now after this what we will do is we have to compute the next number so over here what i will do is i will define the next number variable over here so we have next num so over here what we will do is next num it is equal to previous two nums which is equal to first number and then second number so we have first number and then we have second number so these two variables that is first num and second num so we will find the next num in this case it will be equal to what 0 plus 1 it is equal to 1 in this case now guys till now we have the three numbers in our series that is first number is 0 second number is 1 and the third number is inside this next num that is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 now we need to find the fourth number over here now how do we find the fourth number when the control flow comes next time inside this for loop we will have to find the fourth number and in that case our first number and second number needs to be updated so over here our first number will be updated to the second number now in this case so second number and then our second number it will be equal to our next number over here so it is next num so guys i hope you have understood this logic over here if not then we will understand more about this while we are running this code so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see all the numbers are being printed on the new line over here what i will do is instead of using the print ln method we will only use print method so that all the numbers are being printed on the same line so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see our fibonacci series is being displayed over here the first two numbers are 0 and then 1 the third number is 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 again the fourth number will be 1 plus 1 2 and then we have 1 plus 2 it is equal to 3 2 plus 3 is 5 3 plus 5 is 8 5 plus 8 is 13 8 plus 13 is 21 13 plus 21 is 34 and in this way we have the top 10 numbers in our fibonacci series now guys what we have done over here is first of all we have printed the first number over here and then after that we have the comma so we have found the next num that is first num plus second num which was 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1 in this case and then what we have done is the first num which was already printed over here as 0 we reassigned that first number by using the second number which was 1 over here so now in this case our first number has become 1 and our second number is equal to next num which was found by the addition of first number 
number plus second number which was this number so our first number became one and second number became one over here and when the control flow comes back again the first number is printed which is equal to one in this case and next time the first number second number is what one plus one which is equal to two and then again the first number becomes one and the second number becomes two and we find the next number that is equal to three and so on so guys in this way we can easily write our Fibonacci series over here let me just put n is equal to 20 in this case so that we can find the top 20 numbers in our Fibonacci series let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see these are the top 20 numbers after the 10th number we have some big numbers over here so 21 plus 34 is equal to 55 34 plus 55 is equal to 89 and so on the last number is 4181 which is the sum of 1597 and 2584 let us verify this in our calculator so over here in the calculator if we add these numbers 1597 and then plus we have 25 eight four and then equal to as we can see four one eight one is the next number and that is what is being displayed in our fibonacci series so guys in this way we can easily write a java program for displaying the fibonacci series up to the n numbers that we want so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program for factorial using the scanner and recursion so stay tuned